Here we are settling into our bungalows. For the first time, all of the girls roomed together and all of the boys roomed together. That means five girls sharing one bathroom. And here, these are nets that protected us from mosquitoes and other harmful insects or animals. We actually woke up one morning to a tarantula. The Amazon River was in our backyard. You could smell it. We were in the Amazon. The boys stayed right next door to us. We were practically neighbors. The only thing this place was missing was a hot tub. But with the humid weather, the lack of hot water for showers was truly a blessing. The scenery was a lot to take in. It was so beautiful. We were so young and witnessing things some people will never know even exist. So let's check out upstairs. This is where Bobby and Julia slept. Pretty sweet, huh? Let's check out the view. That hammock down there was so comfortable. Boy, we were so blessed to study in Peru. But honestly, the bungalows had nothing on the food. It was delicious. I believe the meals were the best we had in Peru. Everything the chef prepared came from the local villages up the Amazon River. This bungalow resort was very important to this society's economy. I remember walking that long wooden pathway like it was yesterday. The fresh fruit hanging from the side, the smell of the river, it was perfect. The squeaks from the wood was a song to me. Peru brought paradise to our classroom. Are you ready for an adventure? I hope so, because our guide took us on a lot of adventures throughout the jungle. We visited local communities. We went piranha fishing. We also went deep into the Amazon at night. That was kind of scary. We were there to catch caiman. Cayman are like baby crocodiles. However, we weren't so lucky that night, and I'm glad we didn't catch any. I was really scared. The only thing that lit our path was a tiny flashlight and the Milky Way above us. I had never seen the stars so bright. So there we were, off on our adventure into the Amazon. While afloat, we had no idea what to expect. There were birds of every kind. It was beautiful. There were dolphins, did you see it? And iguanas with red heads from the smallest animals to the biggest. Hey, there's a sloth. Do you see it up in the tree? He's blending in pretty good. He's beautiful. There were bugs everywhere. I remember them beating upon my skin as we rode deeper into the Amazon. Bug spray became our best friend. But just when we thought things were interesting enough, they got even more interesting. As crazy as it sounds, we decided to take a hike through the jungle. And the forest was huge, full of greenery. Only a machete could clear the path. Our guide's grandfather used to be a curandero, a healer, a shaman. 
two years before he died, he said we will never be ashamed. I said, okay, I respect his decision because this is a cross culture. You know, when you talk about shamanism or shamans, and we believe pretty much in these people. It's all about faith. Okay, so there are many curanderos in the Amazon, Peru, Brazil, Colombia. So there are all of these uh, doctors or whatever we want to call healers or wishmen. So we respect them. What an astounding culture. Now we're off to search for ayahuasca. Ayahuasca is a Quechua word. Did you know that? Aya is a dead. Waska is rope. You know, it sounds like you're taken to the Amen. to the dead, you know, Amen. But translate by the scientists, ayahuasca is the vine of soul, a soga del alma, which transports you with the alive world and with the dead world. So it's very interesting. We can talk about ayahuasca all night long. It's very interesting. Deeper and deeper we traveled into the Amazon. Here, we came across a termite's nest. It was huge. Did you know that termites are edible? And can you guess who tried one? We saw lots of interesting things in the Amazon. We even saw spider monkeys. These are the smallest monkeys in the world. They are usually in small families, three or four of them together. That is scary. We're in the Amazon. This rainforest was full of eye candy. Hey, that's a flower. Pretty cool, huh? It was starting to get late, and we were a bit tired, so we decided to take a break. But, with it being our first time in the Amazon, we decided to have a little fun. That's right, that massive tree and all of those vines, we're going to swing them. Okay, uno, dos, tres. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Muy bien, Luis. Okay. The only thing is to hold on tight. Brittany decided to take a go for it too.